Hello guys, uh, welcome to my latest video. So in today's video we're gonna talk about a little something, a little emulator that it's actually pretty promising, it's pretty nice, uh, which is Semu. This is a, uh, surprisingly enough, this is a really nice emulator for the, that emulates the Xbox, the original Xbox or the Xbox OG uh, for the computer, of course. Uh, here is the, um, you will find the, this is the official website. Um, so if you go to compatibility, you will always be able to check which games are um, more playable than others. As you can see, if you click with the green one, with the in the green bar, you will see all the different games that are at least playable. They are not perfect, but at least they are play playable. So in order to use this emulator and configure it and everything, it's very simple. You just have to download, um, if you have Windows, just download the Windows version. The emulator will start downloading. You have just the executable here. So extract the executable somewhere in your desktop. Uh, I made my own uh, folder here and you'll have just this executable the first time that you execute this uh, emulator. So uh, after, ex um, after placing the executable here, uh, if you go, as always, to my webpage, if you go to gravisoftnet.com and um, you go to forum here, you click in forum, you register, and uh, once you are accepted, you, you receive the email confirmation, you will be able to see all the files in the respective thread, if you go to Xbox or something, the latest one, and uh, inside Hacking Games thread. So once you download my pack, not only you will have the emulator, make sure to download the latest version if every time. Uh, you will also find this folder, uh, which is Xbox Utilities. Uh, here, uh, everything is prepared, uh, everything that you'll need. Just drag these three files. This is the hard, um, you know, the hard drive file. This is the MCPX bin file and the BIOS, which is complex four six two seven. Just uh, you know, drag them inside the root folder of the emulator so that uh, the three files are next to the executable. And um, after that, we are pretty much ready to go. So we're gonna execute the emulator. Okay, so you will see that the first time uh, it, the emulator will ask you to um, configure the emulator itself. So uh, what you're gonna do is um, go to uh, you know settings. You'll see all this bullshit. Just uh, in the first one where ask, it asks you for the BIOS location, just uh, locate complex for six to seven bin MCPX. Just locate this file also that we just uh, extracted hard disk just the Xbox HDDD QCOW2 and then the EEPROM is going to be automatically um, you know um, created just click and browse and you will see and you will be able to spot this one the EEPROM.bim so uh, here in system memory I usually select 128 128 megabytes uh, if you want to skip the you know the classic Xbox introduction just click and skip and save and that uh, we're pretty much ready to go so uh, if you want to play any game if you download any Xbox game most likely that the games will be uh, you know organized in different folders um, so uh, this is just going to be a tip for you guys so let's imagine that you have a game uh, name I don't know uh, the Counter Strike uh, game so I'm just gonna show you and if we open this uh, Counter Strike game, you'll find all these folders or all these files like like this, uh, with the classic default .xbe file. If you have all this shit, for example, I want to create a Counter Strike folder. I'm gonna 
copy this all these files This is just to make an example how you should usually find uh, most likely the Xbox, the downloaded Xbox game. So a, a regular game is like this. You have the folder, you have all these different uh, files. Obviously, according to the game, the files will change, but you will always find this default XBE. So um, the emulator, this XMU, only accepts uh, a certain f file type of, uh, you know, games that they are um, ISOs. So in order to get these files, you will have to also, you will get inside my pack, Xbox Utilities, you'll find uh, QX101. So you just extract that one and you'll find this uh, program, just open it and you you will be uh, needing this program in order to transform you know uh, games from folders in uh, to iso so go to create iso local folder uh, select the the game folder here okay and create iso and the iso is going to be created so that's just a little detail so you know guys how to transform into a proper format that the xemu emulator reads so in my case i have these two counter strikes uh, isos here uh, I have a, a modded Counter Strike here and the original Counter Strike. The modded is only a game that also has like uh, you know extra maps and all that bullshit. So don't worry, I will leave these two uh, ISOs inside the pack as well if you're interested. So uh, we're basically done, um, um, you know, configuring the game. So the emulator. So now when we launch the emulator, uh, you will see the you know the intro also make sure to input the, the input I, in my case i have the keyboard so um as you can see the game runs really nice uh so no issues so what we're gonna do is now uh, i'm gonna teach you guys how to configure the um the emulator so that you can play in lan with as many computers as you want as long as the game supports it so now we're gonna go to the second part of the video and I'm going to show you how to configure every single IP and everything that you need so yeah so this is the second part the second part of the video is about uh, configuring for your LAN so that it works in a LAN and you will be able to play Halo, Halo 2. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you how to play the Counter-Strike version, uh, you know, the Xbox Counter-Strike version, or any multiplayer game that supports this type of multiplayer stuff. Maybe in the future, you know, Battlefield 2 will be supported. Uh, so whatever. In order to do this, you will need to install. Uh, you will need to install. Um, also, I will leave these files. These four files are essential. I gotta have to thank to thank um, the guy that made this possible, which is uh, M Borgerson. Um, this one is the guy that made this solution. Uh, so a, a big shout out to him. So first, uh, you will need to install Python. I will leave the installer here. Uh, this may be a little older version, but this is the one that worked for me. So I really recommend this one. This one is also going to be included inside my package. Once you install it. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, um, you know VC for Python also obviously installed Python the version that I'm gonna leave is 2.7.1 once you install these two files you will have Python install your computer this procedure uh, it's only needed for the computer that is going to host the server the rest of the computers are gonna be the clients that are just going to be joining they don't need to do this they don't need to install Python so the next thing um, is this hub uh, PI file that you will need and also a little bad file that it's only um, you know an instruction for uh, the execution of this py uh, Python script uh, to be executed into a, a command terminal so uh, all you have to do is have uh, you know have these two files together just execute the bat it's gonna say waiting for UDP packets in 0, 0, 0, 0, and the port chosen is 1337. If you want to change the port, just edit this file, Python, and just leave it there. So uh, the next step, uh, I'm going to show you uh, recording the cell phone, so we go to the next step. 
All right, guys. So this is the third, the, you know, the final step to configure the LAN with SEMU. Uh, here we have the three computers that we're gonna use today. Uh, this is gonna be obviously the main computer, the server hoster. Uh, this is gonna be uh, running the Python script here, as you can, uh, as you saw in the in the you know a couple seconds ago. Just leave it open. Um, this is going to be another computer. This is gonna be a client representing one of your friends that is going to join. And this is going to be another client, another friend that's going to join as well. So obviously, without saying, uh, everybody has to have the emulator already configured. Uh, we're going to learn now how to configure the emulator for each um, for each computer. We're just going to open the emulator here for each computer. And um, uh, we will see what we will do now. We open this one as well. So we have the free emulators like POST. So um, what you're going to do here, this is the basic uh, blueprint of the configuration that you want. If you want to add more people, just, uh, it's just do the same and add more people. So here uh, we basically have the server, which is going to be this one, and this one is going to be another client, and this one is going to be another client. So the server, this one, which is going to be this computer, uh, is the one that's going to be running the hub to pi uh, p uh, running um, in my case the um, you know you have to figure out which is the local IP of the computers you know regular procedures just open a terminal type IP config identify your IP config and here 192.127.120 is the one that this computer is using. So, um, so yeah, so uh, the computer that is doing this, this this IP that I already modified, is going to use this port with the script. So the XMU running uh, this one should have remote host, the same IP, and local host 000 all the rest of the computers will have this, have the same. So we go to machine here in the emulator. We'll go to network. Just make sure to select UDP tunnel and here put the local IP of the computer that's hosting. Actually, um, you know, one three three seven as a port, and there's all this bullshit zero 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 nine 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 nine, and make sure to click in enable. So this is all good and running. Uh, now we're gonna go to another computer. So we're gonna go to this one. And uh, in this time around, we're going to go to network and uh, also UDP terminal, and is the same. So you're going to put the IP, the local IP of the computer that's actually hosting. So the local IP, as you can see, the same local IP that this computer has. So this computer is referring to this one. So here you can see it's the same, and just click and enable, and just wait there. And then for the other computer, it's obviously going to be the same. We're going to go to machine, we're going to go to network, and also the local IP of the server that's hosting, which is this one. So uh, all the computers should have the same values. So now, uh, just close it, we're going to close this one, and we're going to close this one, and just let the game execute. So um, we're going to click in reset, we're going to click in reset, or uh, maybe let's go into shut down this bullshit. We're going to just restart manually. Like this. And we're gonna start this one manually as well. So all the free virtual Xbox Xboxes are going to be executed. Okay, so we wait until this one is done. We are all in the same, in the same. So as you can see in the menu, in the menu, and in the menu. So the three of the computers are in the same state right now. So uh, remember, we were going to host the session with this one. You can see that in the script, you should see that every single computer that's connecting will be added with the list, which is completely fine. And uh, so we're going to create a session, go to system link, go to host the match. Uh, we're going to choose just humans so that bots don't fuck with us while I'm teaching you guys this tutorial. And then click in uh, enter. So choose whatever map you want. Let's go with a classic and trusty dust too. 
and then just wait until the server is created. This is a listen server. You can also choose to create a, uh, you know, a dedicated server, which doesn't make any sense, but we are creating the listen server. Just make sure that if you guys are mining for bitcoins, I really don't recommend executing that one with this emulator because it will fuck up your computer. It's going to work very slowly. So just wait until the server is completed. Uh, well, there are some graphical glitches, but that's completely normal because this emulator is still in, you know, in developing. Developing. Okay. So, okay, the, the, the demo is... Okay. So now we are inside the game. Here, as you can see, uh, there's no problems. So now we're going to join. So we're going to go into this computer. Obviously, we're going to go into system link and join the match you should be able to see the match here after a couple of seconds you can see there and if you go here system link join a match and you will be able to see the session also in there so we're going to click uh, enter in both computers and we, we will be joining with no problems so as you can see in real time the free computers will be connected you just have to wait a couple of seconds obviously until they they all uh, connect each other so yeah, it's, remember it's an Xbox, so it's not the fastest computer around. It's emulating um, an Xbox. So yeah, in theory, you will also be able to connect an, a real Xbox to the to the game. So yeah, this one connected as a terrorist. Uh, this one is a counter terrorist, and this one is going to join as a as counter terrorist. So as you can see here. Uh, I will turn around with this guy, so you can see that uh, the two players are uh, in, obviously in the same session. And now I'm going to run with this guy. We're going to try and meet up with the rest of the of the bunch. The thing is that this one is a tourist, so we have to, you know, go through all the map until I meet these guys. As you can see, uh, it works perfectly fine. The free computers are correctly connected and you will be able to play some you know have some little fun with classic games from xbox uh, that were multiplayer compatible and here you can see the two guys there i'm gonna be in there so yeah guys uh, i hope you like this video tutorial um that you have some fun with some classic uh, counter strike games and some classic xbox games this is my just for show this is my little Xbox collection. I believe that I really had, uh, I had, uh, you know, Counter Strike games somewhere around here. This is my my little mix collection between, you know, Xbox 360 and Xbox um, original Xbox games. So I believe that I that I actually had Counter Strike game. So I don't know where I have it. But I'm certainly sure that I really had it, so let's see, it should be somewhere here. Where the fuck is Counter-Strike? It should be then somewhere around here. And there is, there it is, Counter-Strike. An amazing game, so yeah, this is basically the game that we are playing with the emulator. So, I hope you guys like the uh, tutorial, see you next time, and have a good one. Bye!